this misguided world lies broken, burning upon the pyres of humanity's false faith. And yet, those pious souls who remain believe even now that their false emperor will still save them. It is a forlorn hope, nothing more. Prepare the ritual, Mephilok. The reaping will begin, and the Dark Prince will drink deeply of this world. As you will, my lord. Zargoth, gather your warriors. Ensure these faithful do not disturb the ritual. They will try, and they will fail, my lord. Their false god cannot protect them from us. Welcome back to Narrative Wargamer for another narrative battle report. Today we've got uh, 1500 points of Chaos Space Marines versus Sisters of Battle. Um, so we have the Heralds of Torment today, led by Chaos Lord Bezgor, and uh, working in cahoots with his Master of Possession, Methanoc. Now, today uh, we are here on this Imperial world, which is, has very obviously been besieged and is now in the throes of chaos. And um, I'm joined today by Dan. Say hello, Dan. Hello. Uh, you, who have you brought with you today? Uh, I've brought the uh, Adepta Sororitas, the Sisters of Battle, and and specifically the Order of the Azurine Heart. Yeah, and a lovely sister's army it is. Because, yes. Uh, tell us what's special about it, Dan. Uh, my wife built and painted it. <laughs> that's the first thing that's special. I guess the other thing that's special is that it's a retro army because it's basically all metal. Yeah, let's, let's have a quick look at some of, the, uh, some of these gorgeous looking sisters that you've brought today. So, classics of third, fourth edition Sisters of Battle, really, isn't it? Yeah, well, I'm, most of them are sculpts from second edition, but <laughs> yeah. um, they were added to in third, fourth edition with the Witch Hunters Codex. Uh, that there is the original Exorcist, um, when it was just a missile launcher upgrade from Forge World. There we go. Yeah, it looks gorgeous. And uh, it's worth saying that the, uh, the Chaos Space Marines have been supplied today by our good friend Sharpie. Yeah, yeah. For those of you who have uh, listened to the podcast before, either here on YouTube or on your podcast sources of choice, then uh, you'll probably heard Sharpie in a couple of our episodes on there. He's great. And um, unfortunately, he can't be with us today to actually play with the army, but he's very kindly lent it to us. Yeah, so we're both using borrowed armies. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we can guarantee that we both know all the rules here and there will be no mistakes. None whatsoever. <laughs> mm. Yeah, so it will be the first time for both of us using these two armies in 10th edition. Yep. Uh, it's been a couple of editions, to be honest, since I've learned of Chaos Space Marines myself. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It should be fun. So our mission today is going to be another one from the Tyrannic War Crusade book. And as I say, if you haven't picked this up before or looked into it, then I highly suggest it because it is a great source for interesting and narrative missions, especially something a little bit outside of the Leviathan mission deck. Um, so today we're going to be playing uh, a mission in the book called Spawning Ground, but what we're using it as today is basically a profane ritual. <laughs> yes, so, um, it's a demon spawning ground rather than a tyrannid spawning ground. Exactly. <laughs> so um, today we're going to be playing a mission that has three objective markers across the table. Now these will be represented by, we do have some actual markers under the models, but we've also got a couple of rogue psychers and Chaos Lord Bezgor himself. Uh, so these three objective markers, they start a little bit in no man's land um, and what they represent is the focal points of the ritual um, which means they will start the game with zero corruption points but at the start of every player turn um, the player who controls that objective marker will either increase or decrease its corruption points obviously the Chaos Space Marines will be increasing it the sisters will be purging it and decreasing the corruption points the objective for today is if at the end of the game any single one of these objective markers has a total of six or more corruption points on it, then the defender, in this case the Chaos Space Marines, will win the game. 90 victory points at zero. <laughs> but equally, 
If not a single objective marker has six corruption points on it by the end of the game, then the Sisters of Battle will win the game, will win the day. 90 victory points to nothing. Yeah, it's all or nothing. It is all or nothing. Now, there is an additional wrinkle in that while victory condition for the Curse Space Marines only requires one objective marker to have its full six or more corruption points by the end of the game, if at any point during the game, two of these markers both have six or more corruption points, the game immediately ends and comes to an immediate stop because the yep. ritual has been so successful that we've currently ripped uh, reality apart and summoned our demon horde here and now. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, there's a potential early uh, finish wink on, but um, well, we imagine it's going to go down to the wire a bit more than that. Uh, there are no secondaries, this is just a narrative mission. If you were playing this as a crusade game, then you would obviously also be using agendas, which is what you would have as your pseudo-secondaries to earn experience points for your army through crusade. Definitely check out the crusade system if it isn't something that you've uh, tried before, but you are interested in these kinds of games. As this is Narrative Wargamer, we always like to play with some kind of environmental rules. <laughs> so, uh, today we do have some environment rules to represent the demonic landscape that we're now fighting across, which you are busy trying to fight back and purge us of. Um, so yeah, this was an imperial city that has been ravaged by the Heralds of Torment, and is now somewhat a little more sulfurous <laughs> than it used to be. <laughs> um, so yeah, we've got chaos groves, we've got warp rifts here and there, and whole bunches of demonic uh, nuisances being around harassing anyone and everyone. Now, that means a couple of things. Um, so first of all, we have our um, demonic landscape rule, which means that basically at the start of every battle round, we roll a dice for every unit on the table, and on a one, it takes D3 mortal wounds. Simple. Yeah, because they've been somehow uh, attacked and harassed by some variety of demonic entity, which can, of course, include our own Chaos Forces. Yeah, the Chaos don't really fickle. care. <laughs> yeah, Chaos is fickle like that, um, and hazardous to wield. I mean, we'll see that when I get around to using the actual Dark Packs in the yep. game. <laughs> um, so yeah, so the potential for some mortal wounds caused by the environment. Second to that, we have the Sanity Blasting Landscape Rule, which basically means... Yeah, it's, it's not a good time being here. It's pretty disturbing and panicking. <laughs> so, all units are at minus one leadership. And the, um, the insane bravery stratagem will actually cost three CP this game for either one of us if we decide to use it. Whew. Because, yeah, a demon landscape is not a friendly landscape. <laughs> However, there is one additional clause to that, and that is because... Today, Chaos Lord Vesgor is, um, he is a particular devotee of the Dark Prince. So whilst we do have a selection of Marks of Chaos uh, throughout the army, uh, the leader of the Warband today is particularly devoting his efforts to Slaanesh. Which means that the demonic landscape and the ritual that we are enacting, in addition to trying to summon Slaaneshi demons, is also going to start corrupting the landscape with the presence of the Dark Prince. So. That minus one leadership condition does not apply to any units of the Mark of Sanesh, which does a couple in the army, which we'll get to in the army lists, but includes the Chaos Lord himself. Uh, although, admittedly, for this game, um, the Chaos Lord is just a marker. We do have a Chaos Lord in the list, which we'll get yep. to later, but that is effectively his champion, his lieutenant, yeah. who's leading the Chosen. Um, also, because it's the Sanesh landscape, we have two additional rules. We have the Scent of Obsession, which means that all units on the battlefield get plus one to advance and charge rolls. So everybody's getting a little bit of a Sadeshi sprint in their step. Bit eager. <laughs> yeah, bit eager. Or perhaps possibly divine intervention from the Emperor. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> um, and then finally, we also have the Secrets of the Warp rule, which means at the start of each burst command phase, they can select one character model that they have within three inches of an objective marker. Whether they control it or not, just being near it means that they are near the source of the ritual and they're getting chaos whisperings in their ears and they can potentially uh, learn forbidden knowledge um, or glimpses of the future and similar. Um, or it's the Emperor. Or it's the Emperor. It's totes the Emperor. Totes the Emperor. <laughs> um, so basically, if you have got a character model of infringement of an objective marker, they take a leadership test, which will probably be a minus one. Um, if they pass, you get an extra command point. If you fail, their unit suffers one mortal wound, as uh, someone goes a little bit mad. Yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's, that's our mission, that's our environment. 
Um, as always, we do say a big thank you to GameMat.eu for helping provide the battle mats and some of the terrain today. Um, and yeah, I think I think that's about everything to sort of get ready for today's mission. So with that, we'll be back in a minute with our lists. So Dan, I can see you've clearly decided to wear the uh, colours of the Emperor today. Yes, the Emperor, honest. <laughs> um, yep. Uh, so today I'm bringing the Adeptus Sororitas, the Sisters of Battle. Uh, as you've seen, they are the Order of the Azurai Heart, custom, uh, custom order, uh, with the glorious blue and white colour scheme. I'm using the detachment, the Hallowed Martyrs, which is the only detachment available. A uh, special rule for that is they get plus one to hit uh, when a unit is below its starting strength, and plus one to wound if it's below half strength, uh, which is quite suitable and fluffy. Um, the Sisters' Army rule is they get the Miracle Dice uh, that can be substituted in for any other dice roll. I'm sure you'll see that in, in play um, when we work out how it works. Uh, and the Army list, I've gone for fairly simple classic Sisters with lots of power armor uh, nuns uh, and not a lot of character support. I've only got one character, the Canoness, uh, who is Canoness Belladonna. She's got uh, a Blessed Blade and a Condemned Bog Gun because you're not allowed to see Combi Flame anymore. <laughs> um, she will be joining a unit of uh, Sisters of Battle who uh, are actually Celestians, but that unit doesn't exist anymore, so they're just Battle Sisters. Um, I think it's obvious this is a classic Sisters army, isn't yes. it? <laughs> a lot of this stuff doesn't exist anymore or is things that um, were standard and have now been superseded by new things. I mean, it's worth especially looking out for all the wonderful Imperial Weirdo models that yes. you're using to represent uh, your cherubs yeah, today. Yeah, I'm using in random sort of Inquisition guys and things as the cherubs because the old ones, the old metal balls didn't come with cherubs. So I've just picked a load out from our Witch Hunters uh, collection. Uh, there's also a load of cool little conversions here and there. It's a, a great army. Anyway, I've got a second squad of Battle Sisters as well, 10. You have to have units of 10 uh, with a bunch of, with a flamer and a heavy flamer in there. I've got two units of 10 Dominions, one with four flamers and one with four melter guns. Uh, they're both in a rhino each. Uh, I've got a unit of 10 uh, Repentia, which are in a rhino. Uh, we've got two units of Retributors, one with four heavy bolters and one with four multi melters. The one with multi melters is sat in the um, thing. Immolator. That's sat, the one. <laughs> it's sat in the Immolator, which has twin multi melters on top. Uh, that's all backed up by two units of five Seraphim, one with the hand flamers and one with the uh, Inferno pistols, and then a, an Exorcist in the back. So today, 1500 points of Chaos Space Marines. We will, of course, be using Dark Packs as our army rule, so where we take leadership tests and we get you to sustain all lethal hits on all our attacks at the potential cost of some mortal wounds when the, the gods take their due. <laughs> um, and then we'll be using the Slaves to Darkness attachment today, which basically gives us various bonuses to those dark packs, depending on which marks of the gods the various units have. And for those units today, we have a big blob of 20 cultists, who uh, have the mark of Chaos Undivided, various selection of uh, auto guns and close combat weapons in that unit, Plus, they're going to be led today by our Dark Apostle. Um, he's just pretty much standard Dark Apostle today. Uh, we don't have any enhancements in the list, just standard uh, gear loadouts for all our various characters. Of which, we do also have a Chaos Lord with the mark of Sunesh today. He has a Demon Hammer and Plasma Pistol, and he will be leading a unit of five Chosen. Also, with the mark of Sunesh, um, we've got a a curse weapons, one's got a pair of curse weapons and a pair of combi bolters in that unit. Um, they will be riding around in a rhino uh, with a habit launcher and combi bolter. Um, that particular rhino has the mark of chaos undivided, and inside with them will also be a unit of five chaos space marine legionaries. This legionary unit has the mark of corn and they have various um, chainsaws and bolt pistols. We have a second unit of five legionaries, these ones have the mark of zinch. They've mostly got bolters, uh, Champion's got a heavy melee weapon, and they also have a Havoc Reaper um, auto cannon on one of them. They are going to be led by the Master of Possession today. Um, so again, standard gear loadouts for him, Mark of Zinch. 
We also have a couple of demon engines. Now these ones have various ranges of Marks of Chaos, but we have a Mauler Fiend with Lash Lasher Tendrils, which has the Mark of Corn. We also have a Venom Crawler, which has the Mark of Mesh. And then we also have a Forge Fiend with three Ectoplasma Cannons, which has the Mark of Nurgle. And these are all going to be overseen today by our Warp Smith, who also has the Mark of Nurgle and will not be leading a unit, he will instead be wandering around with the Demon Engines, benefiting from his low operative role of your vehicle. Um, we also have a unit of two Obliterators, these will have the Mark of Nurgle. Um, and in Deep Strike today, we also have a unit of five Warp Talents who also have the Mark of Sonesh. First time uh, running Chaos Space Rings for myself, a uh, spattering of Chaos Marks across the army should be a fun time, and hopefully it should all result in a wonderful, wonderful demonic incursion at the end of the day. So, all hail the Dark Prince! Right then, we have Hello. deployed. Yeah. So this is just the uh, pre-battle step, as it were, because there are a sure. couple of small things to do. So first of all, uh, you have already done your scout moves. Yeah, the two Rios with Dominions in have moved six inches forward. Um, the Flamer ones are closest to you, and the Melter ones are over here on the right flank. Yep. Uh, and then we have a few uh, dice rolls to make before we get yeah, going. Yeah, a bit of admin going on. Yeah. Now, we do know uh, in the mission rules, uh, the attacker is always going first in this mission. So, yeah, so we do. For that. Yeah, so we do know the sisters will be taking the first turn in a minute. However, first of all, you have some miracle dice to roll yeah, for. Yeah, so at uh, the start of every player turn, I have to roll a miracle dice. So here's the first one of the game. It's a two. So at some point, I can replace, uh, I can substitute that in instead of a dice roll for something, which is, you know, really useful with a two. But yeah. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Um, additionally, as it is the um, start of the first battle, right, well, it's first player turn, yep. um, all of the three objective markers are currently under my control as the Chaos Space Ring player. They do start in a controlled by the defender state, a bit like a sticky objective. Yep. Um, however, if you come and claim them at some point, uh, then they will no longer be naturally under my control until sure. I claim them back. So you should see on screen now, we will have a little uh, tracker for each of the objectives. Uh, one, two, one through three. The first one being the Rogue Psycho over here by the Fallen Blackstone. Uh, objective two being the one with um, Lord um, Asgore himself. And objective three is the other Rogue Psycho on the far flank um, in this building. So the trackers will remain active throughout the game, basically as our pseudo victory points. <laughs> um, and yeah, Basically, each player turn, um, each objective controlled by the defender increases their point by one. Each turn, each one controlled by the attacker reduces their corruption points by one. So all three are currently now on one corruption point. Yep. And then the only other thing we have to roll for, as it is the start of the battle round, is uh, we roll one dice for every unit on the table. Every unit, see if we roll a one. And on a one, they take D3 mortal wounds from the demonic landscape. Uh, would you like to start, Dan? All right. Okay, let's do some dice. Yeah. Get that bit. This unit of battle sisters. They're fine. That rhino. Scouting radar. It's fine. Also fine. The immolator. It's fine. That rhino. Oh! Whoa, it's going to take some trouble. mortal wounds. Take Just one the mortal wound. <laughs> the uh, exorcist. It's fine. Repentia. Uh, Retributors. They're also fine. They're fine. Other scouting radar. Scouting rhino. Oh, oh, in trouble. In trouble. For three, three wounds. muscle wounds. Uh, and then the uh, Cannon Sisters. Yeah. The Cannonists. Oh, they're also Ooh. taking one mortal wound. Ideal, because they have one wound each. Yes. You are now a glorious martyr. Hey! <laughs> You're getting plus one to hit, even though you've yes. started them on the first turn. <laughs> Perfect. Well that done, you. High. It's good. <laughs> And then we were all to the Chaos Space Marines because chaos cares not <laughs> from whence Christ. the blood flows. <laughs> uh, this cultist mob, uh, fine. The Forge Fiend, it's fine. The uh, Warp Smith behind him, is not uh -oh. fine. D3 Mortal Wounds. Ooh. Very cocked. A cocked dice. 
one mortal wound. He has uh, obviously displeased one of the gods. Uh, the rhino containing the chosen and corn legionaries is fine. The Zinchian legionaries in the building with the master in possession is also caught. They are also fine. The squad of two obliterators in that same building are fine. And then finally, we have the Venom Crawler and Forge Fiend. So, Venom Crawler is taking some damage. Takes three mortal wounds. Spicy. Ooh. Corn is clearly pissed off with this slash. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Venom Crawler. Yeah. Then the Forge Fiend is also fine. So, a little bit of damage there to everyone involved. It'll just get spicier. Yeah. So, we'll be back in a second uh, after the sisters have had their movement phase in their turn one. Let's go. Right then, sisters, yes. turn one. Well, as it were, like we've we've done movement. Yep, we've moved. Where have we moved to? Towards the objective is the <laughs> the main thrust here. Um, squad in this building have moved forward, remained in cover. Squad over there with the Caness have moved towards the objective, but. The two scouting rhinos have had the movement to move on to the two renegade cycle objectives, so I will control them immediately. Which yeah. is nice. So, uh, did you advance those rhinos? Uh, a couple yes. Of uh, a few of the rhinos advanced, um, and the sisters over there advanced. Um, which, thanks to the environment, getting plus one movement. Yes, they moved pretty nippy. Uh, we also have the retributors here get out. We sense weakness with this venom crawler, so they're going to get out and blast it with their multi melters. Try to make it away. <laughs> uh, we've also got these. This unit stayed stationary because they've got uh, range of light of sight. Some chaos wings up here, which is the perfect target for the heavy bolters. And uh, the exorcist moved forward because I read its profile and found that it only has thirty-six inch range. <laughs> yeah, which being that we're playing lengthways, yeah, uh, on the table uh, is relevant. So, are we jumping into Sister's first shooting phase? Yeah, let's go. Um, we're going to start with the immolator, the, the twin multi melters at this here at Venom Crawler. At the Venom Crawler. Well, considering that Corn took an interest and took a chunk out of it before we even started yep. the first volley, um, I will be attempting to protect it with some dark obsolete. Ooh, I don't like that. So, I'll use my one CP to uh, give it minus, well, give it stealth. Stealth. So, minus one to be here to abridge okay. attacks. That makes it slightly more awkward, but let's go. <laughs> so what does that mean you're hitting on there? Uh, hitting on fours with the tank multi-melters. One hit, one miss. One hit, one miss. Uh, Venom Crawler is tough this now. Cool, so fours. Fours do uh, it. And it's twin links, so I can re-roll the fail, which I did. You can re-roll the fail. Oh. And do another fail. Yeah. Lovely. Okay. <laughs> Disappointingly, <laughs> that didn't wound. However, uh, the immolator does have a special rule that means if it hits a target, the unit that got out of it gets to reroll to wound against that target. Oh, lovely. So, yeah, so <laughs> it's marked it up at least. Yes. It has perhaps blasted through the Dark Obfuscation. Right, so Multimelters. onto the multi melters from this squad firing at the Venom Crawler. Yep. Both these are at minus one to yes. hit. So we're on fives now. Five state. Uh, one. <laughs> one singular hit. Wow. I'm okay with that. Okay. <laughs> uh, strength nine again, so four. It's a wound. It's a wound this time. It is a wound. Minus loads, but you've got an invulnerable save. Yeah, I am a demon, so five up in bun. And All we're right. good. Fine. <laughs> right, let's go to the other retributors called the heavy bolters. They've stayed stationary, so they're getting the benefit of the heavy. So heavy bolters at the uh, legionaries with the master of possession. Pew, 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 pew. Um, hit their fours to hit but heavy and they stayed stationary so it's threes. Three hit. And sixes explode because they got sustained hits. Strength five? Yep, strength five. Threes. Threes. Uh, that's not bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So because of cover and AP, uh, I am actually still on three plus save. Yep. Um, but these are all damage two, aren't they? Yes. <laughs> heavy bolters. Heavy bolters. Right. Uh, da, 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 da. Three plus six. Well, that is two failed. I'll take that. Uh, the X is going to have a go at the Venom Crawler. D6 plus two shots. Four. Four shots. Hitting on fours. That's to be established. Yeah, hitting on fours for many one. reasons. Just the one. 
Wounding on threes. Yeah, six strength ten, that wounds. Five of Pimpon. No, four up safe. Yeah, we determined because of, the cover. because of the cover from indirect. It helps. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Thankfully, that Venom Crawler has survived the barrage of fire coming its way. Yep. Uh, sadly, that's all I've got there, really. Um, yeah, just the opening bombs. Everyone else is either in rhinos or advanced or, or whatever, or both. And understandably, there will be no charging. Yeah. Yeah. However, when we go to my turn in a minute, that does mean you're going to be knocking down both the flanking uh, yes. ritual sites back down to that's zero. That's the important thing. Corruption points, which Burn is them. important. <laughs> Burn the heretic, suffer master witch to live. Right, Chaos Space Marine turn one. We have already done our movement and we've done a couple of command phase things. So we gained a CP, which we immediately spent on healing the free wounds of that Venom Crawler. So, <laughs> so we now have a nice healthy Venom Crawler who's decided to take Retribution on the... The Retribution, yes, yeah, so I'm very <laughs> clever, very clever. Um, <laughs> However, um, as that finished moving, you've decided you were going to do something I am going to do some overwatch, yes. Yeah. So, uh, we will just quickly do the overwatch for the Retributors, Probably having another crack at this Venom Crawler. Probably worth noting that at the start of the, this turn, I rolled for another Miracle Dice. It would be really nice to have a six, wouldn't it? Because I do automatically hit with one of them. I'll roll a one. Of course you roll um, one. Cool. So, here we go. Let's do some... Let's, let's roll some sixes. You get a six. I'll take it. Uh, four to wound because of, yeah, nine against nine. So it's wound. Wound. There we go. Well, I will again. save, please. Demonic save. Nope, it goes oh, through. Matey. All right. Well, in that range. <laughs> yeah, that range. You're is, is D6 plus two damage. It will be D6 plus two. Uh, <laughs> that's seven. Seven. Seven damage on the Overwatch. Yeah. Enjoy. <laughs> Weirdly, it seems only fair, right. <laughs> considering it survived so much punishment. Yep, I think, I think that's fair, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it deserved that. Um, other than that, we have basically advanced up to try and get to reclaiming these objective markers. So yeah, over here, uh, the cultist mob have hopped out of cover, and uh, they're aware that there's some uh, burning vengeance heading their way. Yeah, there's four, four Ministorum Flamers in that rhino. <laughs> yeah, which is why... The, uh, the Forge Fiend has also come stomping up because he's probably aiming to try and pop that Rhino. Okay, that's fine. Um, before the horrible, horrible flamey death jumps out. <laughs> um, so, what this means is at this point in time, uh, our objective markers, uh, the flanks currently have zero corruption points on them as the sisters have gotten there mm -hmm. uh, to hold them off, and our uh, Lord. Um, Asgar himself is now to two corruptions. Yes. Probably um, worth noting that I might not have that one for very much longer because there's a big old Mola Fiend there. Yes, there's a Mola Fiend there. Now, currently he has three OC, but I'm hoping I might pop that right now. Yeah. And then we'll have some sisters come tumbling out. We'll see what. So, with that, we will move on to our shooting phase. And we're going to begin with uh, that all important. Forge Fiend firing his ectoplasma cannons at that rhino because I want to see it blow. Oh, I do not. <laughs> now, this is the first time I'm actually making an attack, which means it's also the first time I'm actually going to be doing Dark Pact. <laughs> so, <laughs> as is um, tradition for any kind of battle report involving Chaos Space into 10th edition, we'll do the Dark Pact the first time on camera, and from that point onwards we'll do it off camera and we'll just simply tell you whether or not we fail and suffer any mortal wounds. Yes, that's fair. Yeah. So, uh, taking leadership test, uh, leadership test for the Forge Fiend, it is leadership six, but it is not Slanesh, so it is a minus one. Good luck. Uh, because of our environment. So he needs a seven. He passes, so he is not suffering um, any mortal wounds. That's a shame. But he will be getting sustained hits on five space so marking. Yeah, that's, I'm not so keen on that. In addition to this, <laughs> um, in my command phase, the Warpsmith did give the bonus to the Forge Fiend from his dark incentives or whatever it's called. So basically, I'm getting plus one to hit. Okay. I am going to choose to use the Demonic Ordinance rule for the Forge Fiend, which means that all its attacks gain devastating wounds and hazardous. All right. <sighs> <laughs> and the target Rhino is actually in cover. Yes. Against these. So. Um, Against the X-Plus mechanics, it will be getting a 5 plus save. Which is something. Yeah. So with all that in mind, free ectoplasma mechanics. Let's roll some dice. Three D3 shots. Coming in at a nice average roll, eh? Yep. 
Six shots. Hitting on twos. Ooh. Fives are sustained. Yeah. Oh, there's so a one. One miss, but three sustained. Oh, God. <laughs> sustained, sustained, sustained. Oh, Emperor Protect. <laughs> now, these are strength 10. Three sustained. Yep. yep. We're on a toughness nine. Right, so that is five. Oh, uh, it is five saves, but one of them is devastating. Okay, so it's actually four saves. Uh, four saves, and so that is a flat three damage from that devastating. Okay, well let's do them five ups. Uh, oh, so three, of three of them. Well, so that's six damage total, right? Six damage total from Ectoplasm. Okay, plasma. brings it down to two wounds remaining because he's already taken mm. two from the. You can see, spilled one more stuff. Six. Yeah, yeah it did. It's good, that wasn't it. And then that is three hazardous checks. <laughs> Oh god! For the morning, because it's three separate hazardous weapons. Oh dear! He's fine. He's fine. <laughs> I don't know what you're worried about. So that's why he has like... a warp spit following him around. <laughs> In that case, then I will follow up with the venom crawler. Is actually going to try and fire some excruciator cannons at that injured rhino. That makes sense, because you don't want to shoot the retributors right in front of it. No, because they might uh, they might fire back. Yes, there is a stratagem to shoot back, which. Would be hilarious. Yeah. Twelve shots of scooter cannons, uh, lethal hits from the Dark Pact, which importantly he passed and did not nearly kill himself. Whoop. <laughs> so he's fine. Uh, so uh, hitting on fours because I'm damaged, but yeah. I'm going for lethals. But those some sixes. Uh, strength six, so fives against the Rhino. Yes. Uh, two extra, so that is four saves at minus one, so minus nothing because you're in cover. Yeah. Cool. Four saves. Four saves, three up. Three up. These are all damage two. Oh, I need to fail one. And I failed one. Do you have an ECP right now? I do, but I'm not going to use it to okay. save the rhino. Yeah. So we do get it. Uh, does it explode? It's my die. It does no. not deliver my Cool. Uh, but importantly, <laughs> that does also mean the Venom Crawler gets plus one attack on all his weapons. Well, that's fun. Uh, for the rest of the game, because he's destroyed an enemy unit. Oh, rude. <laughs> do you know what else it means? Go on. It means I get a miracle dice. Does mean you get a miracle dice. Which is another one! Another one! Hey! Glorious miracles. Here we are, here's what's left. Uh, <laughs> nine sisters and an Imperial Weirdo next to the Renegade Psyker. <laughs> one Currently died in the explosion. So we will start opening up with the uh, the cultists, what bits of... The cultist uh, bulb, okay. Yeah, cultist bulb is going to open up with what cool. uh, weapons it does have. So, because of dark packs and other things, it's actually worth rolling these guys on camera because we're firing sisters and we're actually doing some damage. Yeah, they are only tough enough to win. So, uh, we've got um, 13 auto guns giving us X amount of shots with rapid fire because a couple are not in and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I'm going, we've done the dark pact. Uh, they just passed because of the dark apostle having very good leadership, which is <laughs> nice of them. So, they're fine, not injured. Um, and then um, we are getting. Then we're getting lethal hits from our dark pact. Okay. So, uh, we are hitting you on fours. Sixes will be lethal. And we get to reroll ones because we are Mark of Chaos and Divided. Rerolling ones. That was cocked. Six. Two more lethals. Strength three. Sisters, toughness three. Fours. Seven saves, three plus. Okay. Uh, that is three. three failures. Ooh. You'll notice we're down to just three sisters. Yep. That is because we rolled off camera for the bolters and the auto cannon from the legionary squad in the building. And yeah, between them, they took out two more. Cheeky. Um, then, what we are going to do though now is we are going to try and finish them off with it's rude. the obliterators of all things. Okay. Because. <laughs> These boys in here. Yeah, the obliterators in the building, because we do want to just make sure we finish off that squad. Uh, so, I've opted for the Warp Hail Volley, so that means I'm going to be getting a total of 2d6 plus 6 shots against these sisters. I have opted for Dark Pact Lethal Hits, because the weapons naturally have sustained. Okay. So, we will be getting um, lethal and sustains on sixes. Oh, good. <laughs> 2d6. That's 10 plus 6, 16 shots. Plus 6. Sorry, little sisters, I don't think you're long for this world. We are, well, the, 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 fire, the, fires, the Emperor soon. The fires of war are for us, not you. Oh. 16 shots. Sixes are lethal and sustained. These are strength 5. Yep, 3. 
So that is a total of six saves on free up because you're in cover. Okay. Okay. They're probably alive. They might be. Let's find out. They nope, are. they're dead. I'd say that is cocked on that one. You reckon? Okay. You could have potentially got one alive. Oh. No, nope, they're dead. No, they're dead. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, well, on the plus side, I get a miracle dice out of it. Yay. So four, I can use that. <laughs> yes, not a one. So after the obliterators finish firing, um, we just have one last thing to wrap up at the end of the shooting phase, which we didn't roll on camera because it was combi bolter and havoc launcher from the Rhino. Yep. Just some sporadic extra shots at sisters. And of course, it ended up killing three of them. Yeah, it killed three sisters about, which is <laughs> annoying. Yeah, so it's surprisingly well when you yeah. failed save. So yeah, we took out three extra sisters. But with that, that will be the end of the shooting phase. So, uh, <sighs> yeah. <laughs> We'll be back in a second with charge rate. So, uh, we are back for space, Chaos Space Marine fight phase. <laughs> I said charge phase a second ago, then realised that both units that were going to charge were like yeah, an moved, inch away from yeah, the Yeah, they moved literally one inch and then there we are. <laughs> so yeah, uh, the Venom Crawler has charged into the Retributors and the Mauler Fiend has charged into the Rhino on its objective. So they literally could not fail their charges. Yes. <laughs> so, um, given Just that Dan... See some carnage. Yeah, given that Dan has no way to interrupt, we're starting with the Venom Crawler. Uh, we rolled for his Dak Pact. He did pass. He was fine. Being dedicated to Sunesh helps him today. Cool. Um, so he's going to be going for sustained hits in melee. Because he's Michael Sunesh, they explode on fives. Okay. Uh, seven attacks because of his plus warden for destroying the Rhino earlier. Rude. But he is only hitting on fours because he's so injured. Fours to hit. And only one five so far. <laughs> yes, yeah. still one five. Only one five, but it is sustained, so. Cool. Uh, strength six, so twos. Twos, yeah. Uh, it will be three wounds at minus one. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, that becomes a four up, I'm gonna use the four miracle dice I just got to pass one of them. Yep. Uh, and then roll the other two. Cool. Miracling one. Uh, so I pass two, fail one. We lose one so retributor. The, not uh, the Drake. Not the dragon yeah, yeah, friend. Well, I'll do it in a minute. Um, <laughs> but because I used a miracle dice, I can remove one of the weirdos uh, and roll another miracle dice. Which is a five, so it's not great. Lovely. Now we are on to the Mauler Fiend versus Rhino. Let's um, go Mauler Fiend. He's two, corny. Four, six. Six attacks, uh, getting sustained hits one from our Dark Pact. It's on freeze. We don't get any sustained hits. Oh, wow. Uh, was it not on fives? No, because that's lethal because he's con. Oh, got it, yeah. Which I wanted the sustained hits because these are um, strength 14. Fair enough. Um, so four hit. Okay. Um, freeze the wind, right now. Freeze to win the right now. Ah, I'll take that. Uh, minus two. Okay, so fives. They fail, both fail. fail. These are D6 plus one each. Uh, okay, well, some damage then. <laughs> uh, it's seven, eight, nine damage. Okay, uh, it's got one wound left then. Well, it's a good thing I have some Lasher Tendrils. Yes. Uh, hitting on threes. Sustained. Uh, what do you call that? Two quite, extra hits, which handy. offsets the misses. Uh, it is fives to wound you. Oh, good. Just the one. Oh, at minus one. You have one wound left. Yes. You've got to make a four plus save. Yes. You contemplated using a miracle dice. Yes. But you actually think it would be more useful elsewhere. Yes. Cool. I chose not to. Um, if I die, I die. Cool. You don't I die. do not die. You're fine. Bonus. Uh, it's a natural miracle. <laughs> <laughs> Thank uh, the Emperor. Uh, at which point then uh, you can fight back. Yeah, you're sure. Well, I will do that off camera. Right, Dan. It's yes. Sister's turn two. Yes. Start a battle round two. Yes. So, we have a couple of things to roll for. Namely, the uh, demonic landscape potentially harming yep. things again. That could be fun. Yeah, so... Um... <clears throat> Start with all mine and work away, shall we? Yeah, that's what we're done. Like, every unit on a roll of one takes D3 mortal wounds. Cool. Uh, the unit of Sister's hiding in here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're hiding away. I almost forgot about that squad. <laughs> They're fine. They're fine. The one wound rhino. The one wound rhino. It's fine. It's fine. Good. The this rhino. Oh, not fine. D3. Takes three wounds. Three mortal wounds. And then tell you what, 
knock one off now because we know it's going to heal one in your command phase. That's fair. Because <laughs> it's a rhino and it's reliable. Yep. Uh, the immolator. It's fine. fine. The retributors. They're fine. Also fine. The other retributors. Fine. Also fine. Exorcist. Fine. fine. And the battle sisters over there. They're fine. Also fine. Cool. Cool. Mm. We'll then roll down the line for the Chaos Space Marine units. Yes. We'll start with Vermola Fiend. Okay. Is not fine. Ooh, spicy. D3 Mortal Wounds. Just, Just the one. one. Okay. <laughs> Maybe that's Sinesh getting back at Khan for harming uh, <laughs> the, their demon engine. <laughs> um, speaking of, the Sineshi Venom Crawler, currently on two wounds. Is not fine! Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh, SpaghettiOs. That Venom Crawl's been through the ringer. Right, yeah. D3 Mortal Wounds, it's got two left. It's dead. So, oh, spicy. <laughs> Does it explode? Please no. Oh no. Deadly <laughs> device! <laughs> Alright. It's a chain reaction, okay. Right, so Venom Crawler, Deadly Demise D3. Which does mean, uh, first of all, this rhino on the far end is going to die. Oof. It's on yeah, one Okay, I can't do much about that. Check for your own Deadly Demise. I was going to say, we'll do that in a minute, but I'll do it now if you want. It's fine. fine. It's not cool. fine. Uh, also, I've got a miracle dice because you killed one of my vehicles, my units. It's five. That's it's cool. It's a five. Cool. Not <laughs> bad. Uh, the next rhino taking D3. One more. Okay. Mortal wound. And it's then. Down to six, up to seven again in my yep. turn. Yep. Immolator. Yep. D3. One. One again. Okay. Um, and the um, retributors. Please no. One. Uh, okay. Just uh, one. I'll, I'll have to take that. Right, so the Venom Crawler ended up being killed by the Chaos Gods. Yep. <laughs> As is the way of Chaos. Moving on. Legionaries in the building. Nope. Ah, uh, fine. The Warp Smith, they got injured last time. He's fine. Uh, his Forge Fiend with him. He's not fine. Oh, uh, what? Which of the Dark Gods have we pissed off today? I don't know which. We'll find out. D3 Mortal Wounds. Two Mortal Wounds to the Forge Fiend. Of course. Uh, and then the Cultists. Uh, fine. Right. So you get from messing with the Chaos Gods. <laughs> oh, and the Obliterators. Obliterators in the building. They're also fine. Cool. Right, so having then rolled the uh, dangerous checks for the sisters hopping out. Yep, they all got right them. fine. They all got out fine, no that's ones. right. No one's. Right. There's just a mole fiend in their yep. face now. <laughs> um, which means uh, the only thing left really command phase wise is we both get a uh, command point, yep. you get an extra miracle dice. Miracle dice, so start of a turn. Six. Lovely. Lovely. And the corruption points. Uh, yes. We still have zero on this far uh, rogue psyker. Yep. We now have three corruption points Scary. on uh, the castle himself. And then the Mauler Fiend um, up brings, up to one, yeah. Yeah, brings the other Rogue Psyker up to one. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we'll be back in a second then, after the sisters' move of his. Right, Dan, yeah. we've had many things move and many things show up. Yes. Take uh, us through happened. Yeah, take us through your move of his. Well, first of all, there was a Venom Crawler here that was being really annoying. It was yep. blocking a lot of my movement. But conveniently, it just died. So that <laughs> meant the Rhino could zip all the way over here. This is the one that's full of Repentia. Um, I opted not to go for a slightly long charge into the Rhino. I'd rather I'll leave them there to do something next turn, hopefully. Uh, uh, Retributors moved up. They're just about within 12 of that. So they can the give them a shoot yep. um, without being made ineligible to fire them. Immolator shuffled around. The Dominions with four Melters that fell out of the Rhino <laughs> didn't move very much because there's a nice melting target there. Um, these sisters are advanced up. Uh, that stuff will say stationary. On this flank, we had the Battle Sisters take the objective again. Yep. And two units of Seraphim have turned up to reinforce against those bloody cultists. <laughs> yep. So we've got uh, yeah two units of five Seraphim who've decided to deep strike in and pose a threat to the cultist blob. Yeah. <laughs> but that's not the only thing that's deep struck in. No, it isn't. 
because with my one CP for the turn, I decided to go for a rapid um, insertion with yep. my warp talons. Look at them. So they have appeared on this far flank, notably behind the ruins and behind yes. the unit that advanced. Yeah, so I can't really do anything about it. No, that's the plan anyway. So we're going to see what they can uh, what they can do in my turn yeah. later. Tasty. Mm. So with that, Dan, I think that's everything ready for shooting phase now, isn't it? Yeah, we're going to do some shooting. Let's do some shooting. Where would you like to start? I would like to start down here with these uh, Dominions. Yes, the uh, the melted guns at the Mall of Eden. Yes, uh, we're going to try and make it go away. Um, but just to be sure, I'm going to spend a CP and throw a grenade at it first. Grenades! <laughs> so Love the grenade. I right? believe that's six dice on four ups for Mortal Wings. That's correct. Two. Two Mortal Wounds. Uh, but it's eight. eight currently. Okay. Which is a nice convenient amount of Potentially for a melter gun. A single melter shot. <laughs> uh, so let's roll straight onto those melters. Uh, sadly, sadly, none of them died falling out because they're not going to get plus one to hit. <laughs> so not, we're just hitting on threes here. They're not martyrs yet. No. Freeze hit. Uh, two hits. I'm okay with that. Uh, melters are only strength eight now, aren't they? Uh, yes, so it's fives. Fives. Um, we you thinking miracle dice? I think I am. I'm going to use my one of my fives. One of your fives. Cool. Uh, to get an auto wound and then roll the other one, obviously. Two Ooh, wounds. Lovely. Two wounds. Two demonic saves. Nope. Okay. So that's going to be... Is that going to be 2d6 plus 4 damage? Yes. <laughs> Go for it. Uh, Ooh, that's nine. Which... Oh, well, conveniently I used that grenade because now it's dead. <laughs> that is exactly nine. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, yeah, can't do anything about that. Excellent. Um, do I, Deadly Device? Yeah, let's find that out first of all. Nope. Good, good. <laughs> uh, because I used a Miracle Dust, I'm going to use my weird little guy weird to little guy. get another one. Which is a five right back for free, that's nice. Uh, and also yeah. because the unit has a, uh, a banner Simulacrum Imperialis or something like that, yeah. um, they get another Miracle Dust for killing a unit, which is fun. Was it six? six? That was very successful. Yeah, that was a very successful volley. What's next, Dan? Uh, immolator. Two and melter and forge feed. Um, I'm hitting on uh, twos now because I'm below heart, below starting strength, which is fun. <laughs> yes, of course you are. Uh, the good thing you did. Just one. <laughs> uh, strength nine. I assume that stuff was ten or more. Uh, I think it might be ten. Yes. Yeah. Five. So fives. Uh, no. That was a three, but it's twin link, so it's a reroll. Still no. though. Okay, never mind. That's okay. Uh, let's move on to the Retributors. I'm going to shoot it. They are normally hitting on fours, but plus one because they're below half strength as well, or below starting strength. So, so they're hitting on threes. Threes to hit with the Retributors. Yep. yep. Add the Forge Fiend. Five to it again. Okay. Oh, that's real Ooh, bad. That's um, okay. That's okay. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> I was getting greedy, I should use a miracle dice to wound, but I was going to save it for the damage. But uh, no, not to be. What next then? Uh, that's a very good question. Let's go over to these guys, uh, the uh, retribution of the heavy bolters. I'm going to keep doing what they were doing before and just shoot with these marines over here. <laughs> we're just exchanging volleys across yeah, the first not? floors of the building. <laughs> uh, retribution heavy bolters into the legionaries. In the okay, building. so what I'm going to do is use a miracle dice for one of them. Use one of my fives to auto. Hit with one of them. I'll hit with so a miracle dice. Plus one, so threes. Uh, no sustain. No sixes, but I do get one back from the, the five that auto hit. Yep. Um, we're wounding on threes. Um, Retributors reroll ones to wound. Oh, okay. So that's nice. Which I don't know if I'd roll any ones for that. <laughs> check, but... We'll find out. In any case, that's five wounds for this. Five wounds. <laughs> As before, it's yeah. a uh, minus next. one, so it's a three up save because of the cover. Yeah, no, uh, because of the master of possession, I'll do these uh, three at a time to begin with. Yep. Okay. First three. Uh, I pass two. Mm -hmm. So, first guy, uh, fill a pain six up. He's he does dead. die. Two left alive, which is convenient because now we've got two more saves to make. We passed them both. Damn it. All right, well, I used the miracle dice, so I'm going to. Uh, use my weird little guy to recycle and get another one. Yeah, weird little. That's 
Rolling in. Real cult. Two. Weird little guy gets you a two. So next, it's going to be the exorcist. Firing all the way over the building of the fortune. Yep. Go for it. Okay. That's four, so six shots. Six shots. Hitting on freeze. Uh, four hits. Strength. Yep, strength ten. Uh, fours on the fortune. Good stuff. No, oh, just the one. Just the one. Minus yeah. two. So uh, minus one, because you get cover, because I'm yes. indirect. Four at power save. It goes through. Okay. How much? D6 damage. Uh, sure. Six damage. Sure. <laughs> it's a miracle. Ow. <laughs> yeah. That was a very blessed missile. <laughs> Good. Uh, and then we've got a whole load of shooting over here. Right. We rolled for it off camera, as you can see. There are a lot less cultists now. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. But, um, 16 of them, was it? Yeah, so we just quickly rolled off camera for all the various bolters and flamers coming at There's them from the Sisters Squad and the two squads of Seraphim. Yep. You reduced it down to four cultists and then the Apostle and his attendants. Yes. And then the Seraphim decided to do their cheeky six inch move after yep. shooting. Just uh, get a bit close to put some pressure on. Um, you can't charge, the, yeah, but they get charge. a lot closer. Now, what can charge, however, because that was in fact the end of the shooting phase. Yeah, that's all I got. Uh, the only thing left to the turn potentially is Dan, you're going to try an 8 inch charge yeah. with the Cadenes into the remains of the cultist squad. Yeah, and what I'm actually going to do we're doing is some miracles. spend a 5 from a miracle dice. Oh. Well, on one of the dice, and then I roll the other one. Yeah, so you need a 3 plus to complete your 8 inch well, actually, charge. Actually, I need a 2 because we've got plus 1 to advance and charge. On this we do have plus 1 to advance and charge from the center yeah. obsession. Yeah, they're in. That's an 11 inch charge. And because I used. I'm going to use a weird little guy. Weird little Can we get another miracle dice back? I'll have a four. Thank you very fun. much. <laughs> right then, uh, you made it in. Let's do some fighting. Let's go. So you're starting with the regular sisters yep. and working up. So they normally hit on fours with one attack each, but because they're below starting strength, they're hitting on threes. Because there's a cannon in, cannon in there, they're re-rolling to hit as well. So that's quite nice. Lovely. Freeze re-rolling. Um, Okay, four hits. Four hits. Uh, they are strength three because they're sisters, so it's fours against cultists. Four against cultists. Two wounds. No Two AP, but... Six up to hits. Oh, all right, fair enough. <sighs> Two six up to hits. <laughs> <laughs> the cultists live. Okay, the uh, sister superior with the chainsword. Yeah. Uh, oh, re-rolls. Re-rolls. Cool, that's three hits. Three hits. Uh, this one's strength four. Oh, oh, for a chainsaw? I can't no, no, they just give you a push. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Two wounds. Two wounds. AP nothing though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's not an Astartes chainsaw. Okay. Six up save again. Yeah, it gets two this time. There we go. <laughs> um, so three attacks hitting on twos with a blessed so, blade. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll hit. So this is the cannon Yep. Yeah. Cool. Strength six, so wound you on twos. Wound you on twos. Uh, oh, two wounds. Um, AP and damage? It has some AP and some damage. It kills the two remaining cultists. Yes, it does. <laughs> which conveniently leaves the Apostle and his disciples. Yeah. Right, well, I'm going to hit you back now. Go for it. Dan, I said I was going to hit you back. Yes. It turns out I hit my disciples first. Okay, that was fun. <laughs> so uh, I rolled for Dark Packs off camera like we said we were going to do. Yeah. Uh, and despite being at leadership six because of the minus one to the environment, yeah. uh, the Dark Apostle failed. Oh, which yes. means um, his two fellows have died and he took a wound himself. Cool. <laughs> we took three mortal wounds from our dark pact. Whoops. Um, I did roll their attacks because I know they do get to attack. They didn't do anything. Um, but the Apostle now has five attacks, hitting you on threes, re-rolling ones. Um, no, so hitting you on twos. Re-rolling ones. Nice. Sustained hits. That's cocked. No sustained. <laughs> cool. But I do hit you all. Strength six. Two oh, stars. Sorry. That is four wounds. Yikes. Uh, minus two damage two. Minus two damage two. So we're on fives here then. He kills four of them. Four. Yikes. All right then. Beats them with his beating stick. Right, and with that, that's the end of uh, Sisters turn two. So we'll be back in a second with Space uh, Chaos Space Marine.
Right, it's the start of Chaos Space Marine Turn 2. We are in the command phase with one or two little things to do. Fuck in the CP, Dan's got an extra miracle dice. Yep. And now I need to check to see if my Warp Smith, who is within three inches of an objective marker, namely the Chaos Mod, um, if he gets me an extra CP. Also for the mortal wound. So, lit, uh, cle cleaning dark secrets. Oh, yes, please. Dark Prince. So, you to make a leadership check. You need to roll seven or more. He rolls an 11. Lovely. That's much more than seven. My Warp Smith gives me an extra command point. Good stuff. However, then I have two units that actually need to take um, break tests. Yes. So the first one is the Forge Fiend. It needs a seven. It's not gonna do, well, could do it on that, that re-rolls. He does not. No. That is a broken Forge Fiend. That's quite handy. No, that's no quite strats handy. for you. He's in, he's in, can't heal it. Yeah. Um, and the other unit is? The other unit is the, yeah, the, so the Dark Apostle, because he's technically a three man unit. Yep. He's, he's, he's down to one. So he's down to one. That's two break checks. It's fun that, isn't it? Future six. Yeah, it feels. Cool. <laughs> also broken. Sure. They're a bit concerned as to why their ritual is being so accurately disrupted. End of chaos movement phase. So uh, we've basically decided to push out and try and just get aggressive this turn. <laughs> so we've had the Corn Legionaries have leapt out of the Rhino. Uh, they've come running forward to try and do some retribution of their own. Don't like that. <laughs> uh, the Chaos Lord and Chosen remain in the Rhino, but it's decided to pop its head out. The Forge Fiend has moved up with the Warp Smith. It has also been healed for two wounds by the Warp Smith. I'm giving it its plus one to hit. So it should be basically fully operational for now. On the far flank, the warp talents have obviously come swinging around the building. Yep, I have something to say about that. Yeah, because once they finished moving, Dan was preparing to do some overwatch. Yeah. Because you have a couple of flamers in that unit, don't yes, you? Yes, there's a flamer, heavy flamer, a bunch of uh, bolters, and a plasma pistol, which I'm going to fight first. <laughs> yeah. Because, okay. uh, and I'm going to have supercharge it because damage too, right? Sure. So here we go plasma pistol. Misses. Is it hazardous? Yeah, of course it's hazardous. I mean, I mean, do you roll a one? Oh, yep. yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool, fun. That's someone dead. Here's some bolters. Uh, so, pause the wound. There's a wound. Warp tiles, replay save. I'm fine. Yep, they're fine. Uh, and then we've got the two flamers. Um, it's a ministorum flamer and heavy flamers, so it's around five and six, so I'll do them at the same time. No, I won't, because the heavy flamer is minus one. Good point. So, here's the regular flamer. Regular flamer. Two shots, excellent. Three to wound. There's two wounds. Two wounds. Two three pluses. I'm fine. Okay. And the heavy flamer. Ooh. Three shots. Three shots. Of which two wound. Two wound. Minus These one. Minus one. Yeah. Two four pluses. I'm good. Well, that's just rude. <laughs> we come through the fire and flame. Cool. Other than that, that's, that's basically my movement. Uh, the le legionaries and the obliterators have shuffled around a little bit. Basically, they're going to try and uh, take some opportunity punches on that rhino full of uh, repentia, you said? Yes, the yeah. repentia in the rhino. Cool. Okay, space we're in shooting phase. Uh, we're going to start with uh, <laughs> the first volley that involves a lot of things happening. Yeah, it's a bit so, complicated, this. Yeah. The Forge Fiend is going to fire all three Ecto Plasma Cannons at this Rhino full of Repentia. Yep. You have to spend one CP for smoke. Yep. Which is minus one to hit. Yes. Offsets the plus one to hit I was getting from the Warp Smith. Yes. And back to hitting on threes. Okay. I get three D3 shots. Okay. I have uh, Dark Pacted for sustained hits. Yep. And I'm also using Demonic Ordnance for devastating and hazardous weapons. Yep. Okay. There's a lot of stuff going on. A lot of stuff going on. We could either or neither or both of us could die from this. Yes. <laughs> this is true chaos theory at work. Anything could happen here. <laughs> 3D free shots. Uh, perfectly average Perfect again. average again. Lovely. Six shots. Hitting on freeze. Um, sustained hits on fives because I'm Nurgle. Okay. That's splash damage. Well, there's a yep. five over there. And uh, two sixes. Yep. So that means we get three extra hits in. I'm sustained. I don't like that. Shrimp 10. Okay. Freeze to wound. Yep, freeze to wound. Four wounds. Okay, one of them's devastating. You can see that. One of them is devastating for a flat three. Okay. So that's already going to put you down to four. Now, this is minus three. Last time you had cover. 
now you don't. So you're on a six-up save. Uh, well, I'm, I've got cover because I've smoked. Oh, smoke gives you cover, doesn't it? All right, five ups again. Cost. Uh, fell one, so it's down Once to again, one Once again, it's down to one wound from the fourth <laughs> round. Excellent. Right. Okay. So you're down to one, and now I have to take triple hazardous test. Yep. Enjoy. When I have six wounds remaining. Oh, this could be fun, couldn't this it? This could be fun. <laughs> I'm fine. Oh. Just. Oh. Okay. Right. So now... That was warp, entertaining. Yeah, the warp smith is going to try and finish the job. Oh, rude. Because he's got a he's got a melter pistol, a flame pistol, and a plasma pistol. Oh, okay. He's going to put all of them. As he hazardous in his plasma pistol. Um, with his three wounds there. <laughs> is he dark tactic with his three wounds there? I would have, if it made any difference, <laughs> been yeah, been willing to max all the plasma pistols. Yes, but, but as it makes literally no difference, I won't. Sure. Sure. <laughs> However, I am going to dark pact. Okay. Um, and I am going to go for uh, let's go lethal hits. Sure. Okay. So. But dark pact. I'm fine. We'll start with plasma missile. Yep. Uh, hits. Yep. Doesn't lethal. Does not move. No, that's all fine. Then he has uh, a flavor pistol. Five shots. Auto hits. Sixes. Nope. Okay. Nothing. Good. Good. And finally, melt a pistol, hitting on freeze because of your smoke. Yes. It hits. Okay. It wounds on fives. Yep. Does not wound. Perfect. That is it. He did not achieve anything in the end. Cool. Which just means someone else has to do it. Yeah, what else is shooting the rhino? Right, well, since we need it dead, I'm going to start with the rhino. Oh, okay, yep, fair enough. <laughs> rhino on rhino. Hot rhino on rhino action, yeah. Yeah, you got one wound, so I'm going to put everything into it. Right, combi bolter so in rapid right. fire range. Yep. Four shots. Triple lethal. Wow, <laughs> okay. Plus a hit. Impressive. <laughs> Sixes. No. Three no. saves, minus nothing. Three plus on your rhino. There Down you to bolter fire, there you go. Finally. Uh, does it explode? No. What? No. No deadly device. Okay. Cool. Right. Repenture pops out the rhino. Yep. That's and all. then probably yes. got shot by some bolt pistols from the legionaries. Yep, some sporadic fire plus the falling out of the heads from the rhino means there's only four left. Yeah. So you had two that died falling out of the rhino. Yep. And three that died to bolt, uh, bolt pistol fire from the legionaries. Ah, uh, one died to a plasma pistol. Ah, oh, plasma pistol as well, yeah, sorry. And now I'm going to attempt to uh, finish them off with the Zinchian legionaries. That's this called with the missile, uh, with the. Um, Auto cannon, I can just about see in that window, right? Yeah, auto cannon in the window, master of possession on the ground floor. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they put, uh, they're dark packing for lethals on fives because of their lack of zinch. Uh, bolt, bolter, and bolt pistol at them. Uh, all hit, no lethals. <laughs> okay. Freeze. One wound. Perfect. Uh, they've got six up in vulnerable save. Very cocked, cocked it, yeah, roll it. Roll it again. Roll it again for being cocked. Yep. Now, fill it pain. Was that a one damage? One damage, yeah, yeah. Nope, that's one dead. That's one more. And then we have the Reaper Auto Cannon. Which is just the two shots. He did move though, so he's only hitting on fours, but lethal on fives. And of course, he double hits. <laughs> no, he yep. Um Strength nine, twos. One. Again, Invon. Passed. Passed. Ah. Excellent. Good stuff. <laughs> Takes a Reaper auto cannon round to the face. Oof. That is fine. Yeah. The Emperor protects, clearly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then finally, the Rite of Possession from the Master of Possession. Uh, not doing the uh, focused version because it's basically the same against sure. the Adventure. So two shots hitting on twos. No lethals, but both hit. Uh, strength. Four, so we need on freeze. Two wounds. It's AP minus three, damage two. Okay, here's some sixes. Nope. They both go through, they're both damage two. You okay, so feeling a pain on the first one. Dead. Dead. Second one. Dead. Dead. We're left with the leader. Just the mistress. No one is getting repentance today. Yeah. Now, last bit of shooting, we're going to put the obliterators into the immolator, 
What do you mean? Focused malice. So that's like Ugh. melter profile shots. Okay, don't like it. Uh, we, we're getting sustained hits on fives from our deck pact. Because we're okay. Nurgle. 2d3 shots. Cocked and you get four. Lovely. Hitting on threes, uh, sustained on fives. No sustained. Five. Perfect. It's fine. Three hits, strength 12. Threes? Uh, yep, threes. I'm guessing it's not toughness 12. I think it's toughness 10. Yeah. Uh, two. Okay. At minus three. What damage is it? Four. Four damage. Okay, so if it fails on both, it's still alive anyway. So. Yeah. Let's roll. That pass one. Yeah, this is just flat four damage. Yep. Right, chaos charge phase. We've got a few interesting ones. We're going to start with the warp talons. They are declaring a charge on both of these two units of ten sisters. Or ten ish sisters. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, simply because we really want to charge the melting gun unit, but to do that, we're going to potentially risk having to. If we don't declare both, we have to get at least a seven on the charge. Sure. If we declare both, we tag it to both, but it's a really easy charge. All right, so I need a seven to hold something. Three. It's I mean, not ideal. It's four. <laughs> yeah, it'll get you into melee with both, but... It will get me into melee with both, just because I can reach here, yeah. which connects to both units. Lovely. Notably, the plus one is from the uh, center of obsession from yeah. fighting in the realm of Slanesh. What's that? Obsession. <laughs> <laughs> um, then the yeah the corner legionaries are going to charge the retributors. Retributors, that's the word. They are also going to get a seven eight. I should do it. Corn wants it. Yeah, that's a number. <laughs> and then the lone sister superior down here, left from behind from the repenture. Yep. I am going to charge the Zinchian um, legionary squad. Okay, let's go. Your possession in. Let's see what we get. Four inches as well. Perfect. That probably is just literally what you needed. Uh, I'm going to say no. I think I needed five. Okay. I think I'm just out on that roll. All right, fun. Fine. Fun for me. She gets to live a little bit longer. Yeah. That is it for charges. Um, so we go straight into fighting. Yeah, let's go. And you've got nice Don't then. worry. Cool. Right, well, in that case, then, we're going to start with the Warp Talons. Okay. So we've got four into one squad and one into one. Okay. So starting with the four Warp Talons into the smaller squad, technically. Yeah. Are getting sustained hits on fives. Yeah. Right, so dash. Okay. Don't want to do. Yeah, these are strand five. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Winning on threes. They are twin linked. <laughs> yes. So. All but two. Okay. Right, three, six, nine, ten, fourteen, minus two saves. Oh, quite a lot. Quite a lot. They so five up saves. There you go. Nine casualties. I believe that's the squad. Uh, and, no, the, and the wheel. Uh, yes, that is the squad. Because I blew myself up with Overwatch. <laughs> yes. Great. Okay, okay cool. fine. Um, which does mean I get a uh, miracle dice. It's a six. How about it's that? a six. And then four more attacks into the other squad. Also, sustained hits on fives. Which is ideal again, because. Yep. Four hits. Uh, freeze again. Twin linked again. Three. Okay. Three, uh, five plus six. Two good. Two done. Uh, two, two regular bolter. Yes, please. Now, the core legionaries into the uh, retributors. You'll notice one of them is laying on his back. <laughs> yep. That's because. Dark fact. Dark pact. They did fail their dark pact, so they're still getting their lethal hits on fives. But the unit is taking two mortal wounds, and one legionary is going to fall over after these tests. <laughs> so, hitting on threes, but lethaling on fives. Ugh. And that was worth it. Took two mortal wounds to auto wound twice. Strength four, freeze. Okay. Seven minus one saves. Uh, have I got a miracle dice three? Sorry, four. You've got four. I would use a four. We use a to pass one of them, so I've got three saves to make on fours. Oh. Six saves. Sorry, yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> yeah. I'm holding the literally holding that number of dice. <laughs> I just said the wrong number. Silly me. Uh, there we go. 
That's pretty good. So two, two die, which means the squad survives. Uh, they'll die, and I'll use the the weird little guy to get another miracle dice back. Imperial weirdo for an extra yep. dice, which is a three. Right, so then we get to go on to ongoing fights, which means you get to fight first with the cannoness over here. Yes, please. Uh, let's go straight to the cannoness. Um, it's three attacks. Yep. Hang on twos. And re rolling. Because she's in her own unit. It didn't work. So two hits. Two hits. Strength six. Threes. Uh, threes. Um, the unit is currently below half strength. Plus one to wound. So plus one to wound. Twos. We got two wounds. AP minus. AP minus two, two damage. Uh, two far pin ones. He goes down. Ha ha! You have slain Excellent. the uh, dark apostle. Uh, and because that unit has a banner, okay, a miracle dice. Free. It's a free. After the countess killed the dark apostle, four back here did nothing. Four back here did nothing. And with that. That'll be the end of uh, Chaos Turn 2. Okay. Right, Dan. Hello. It is Sister's Turn 3, which it means is. it's Battle Round 3. Yeah, which means Demon Time. Demon Time. Yeah. So again, rolling for every unit on the table. Right, on a one. Start with mine and then you do yours again. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the Dominion Squad here. D3 oh. Mortal Wounds. Three. Mm, Two. Yikes. D3. Oh, yeah. <laughs> then. They've fallen through a warp rift that the talons have uh, ripped open. Don't like that. <laughs> the, uh, that thing. Immolator. Also takes D3 water wounds. Just a double one. Down to five. Got no rhinos left to, <laughs> to just <laughs> ultimate. <laughs> um, the retributor in here. Oh, uh, the lone retributor. She's fine. She's fine. The in a, in a, a sense of word. mistress, whatever we're calling her. She's fine. She's also fine. Um, retributors over there, heavy bolters. They're fine. They're fine. The Exorcist is fine. Wouldn't it be funny if the Exorcist was possessed by a demon? I mean, I quite like it. It's <laughs> a hit. <laughs> True, actually. I don't know. Uh, the Cannoness slash whatever unit. Fine. The those first, those Seraphim. First unit of Seraphim. They're not Ooh. fine. So this Seraphim unit takes two more wounds. wounds. Okay. And then finally, the last Seraphim unit is fine. It's fine. Cool, so just two seraphim from us. Then we'll roll for chaos units. Please do. Uh, roll over the warp talons. They are fine. Uh, the corn legionaries are fine. The forge fiend that's taken a battering is fine. The warp smith oh. is not fine. Ooh. He's only got three wounds left. He has only got three wounds left. Oh, and dear. he's going to take d3, two. One wound left. Wow. He is not in favour of the gods today, oh, is he? Spicy for that guy. Uh, the rhino that was next to him is fine. The zinch legionaries in the building. Ooh, go away. Ooh. Not fine. They will be taking three, three. mortal wounds. So we lost the Reaper Auto Cannon guy, and the aspiring champion has taken a wound. Uh, and then the obliterators. <gasps> also not fine. Oh, I'm really spicy. Yeah, clearly the other gods are not happy with the fact that this ritual is dedicated to yeah. Smash. <laughs> the obliterators take three mortal Ooh. wounds. I believe at least one of them on one. So then, Dan, a couple of other things. Uh, you've got a new miracle dice to roll for, yep, I believe. Miracle dice. Three. Yeah, three. And then we have a couple of battle like shots yeah. to take. Where would you like to start? Um, looking at. Well, let's do her. Yeah, so the, the low and superior. Fail. Fails. Battle shocked. Her. Lone sister. Uh, pass. Cannoness's unit. unit. Yeah, Cannoness's unit. They're fine. They're also fine. Cool. Right. That is everything for the command phase and the start of the turn. Importantly, the rituals, the, uh, the rogue psychers are clearly faltering. Uh, they have yes. been overwhelmed by the holy emperor's uh, benediction, clearly. Because they are still both on zero corruption. Yeah. However, the Chaos Lord himself is now up to five of his required six corruption points. Yeah, so I've got to get in there real fast. Yeah. Will he be the one opening the rift and summoning the demons? We shall see. So, Dan. Yes. 
in slash towards the end of your yes, movement phase. I've moved most of my things. Yeah, most of your things. But that, so most recently, well, that emulator. Yeah, most recently the emulator because I'm about to overwatch it. Yep. Now, I would like very much to have overwatched it with the Forge Fiend, mm. but I can't, Dan, because I failed Battle Shock. Whoops. Which means I can't use stratagems on it. Yeah. So instead, I'm going to have to overwatch it with the Obliterators. Okay. And just see what I can do with them instead. I am going to roll for Dark Pact with them for sustained hits. Um, so that is going to be a 8, so we're fine. Which means I'll be getting 2d3 of my warp focused uh, malice shots, or whatever it's called. Okay. Melter shots from the Obliterators. <laughs> All right, let's go. 2d3 shots. Okay, four shots. Perfectly average. I've done that every single time. Yeah. Six is to hit, but they are yep. sustained. Mm. Nothing. Oh, okay. I mean, one cocked or not? Yeah, go on. <laughs> Why not? Nothing. No. CP well spent. Good stuff. <laughs> well, but our, it was definitely it, worth it. Both of our overwatches were exactly as effective. Yeah. Other than that, uh, you've moved up with the Seraphine on this one. Yep. Like, and over here, uh, you're about to uh, disengage from combat. I would like to disengage from combat because they're scary. However, they are scary and come with their own special rule. Boo! Which forces you to take desperate breakout tests, even though you're not battle shot. I don't like it very much, but we're going to do it anyway. Yeah. So, so there's six of them there. So ones and twos, ones and we twos. touch you down. Uh, you've killed three of them on the way out. Nice. <laughs> which means you will, in fact, kill a melter gun. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, that is the rest of your movement complete. Yeah. So we can continue normal scheduled service and return to your shooting phase. Cool. <laughs> Where would you like to begin? Uh, I would like to start with um, the Exorcist that can now see and shoot the Warp Talons. So it's a blast weapon, so get plus one shot. So it's D6 plus three now, effectively. And what AP is this? Uh, it's AP two. Oh, that's real bad. <laughs> well, you know what? I am actually going to use my command point on that. <laughs> that's fine. You use your command point on that because I'm also I'm going to use my Infernal Rites. Or as it's okay. commonly known. Great. Armor of Contempt. <laughs> sure. So, yeah, you're getting how many shots? Five. Five shots. Uh, I will be hitting on twos, though, because I'm heavy and I didn't move and I can see you. That's right. They all hit. They all hit. That's strength 10, so twos to wound. Twos to wound. Yeah. Three wounds. Four plus saves. Uh, I failed two, because it was the three and the two. Good. So first guy, because you might not kill him. Dead. You kill him. Second guy. Don't not kill not him. <laughs> that was embarrassing. One warp talent gone, one wounded. Okay. Well, I was kind of hoping that would do most of that damage. But um, it did not in the no. end. So we're going to move on to the retributors who are also going to shoot the warp talents. Okay. It's fine by me. So, yeah. I mean, kind of. Heavy Walters. Um, I am going to use a... Three miracle dice. <laughs> one auto hit. One auto hit. Yeah, whatever, yeah. It's on threes, sustained yep. on sixes. Yeah, well, that's a lot better than it was. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot better volley. That's yeah. the extra one, and there's an extra one over there as well. Wounds on threes, because it's having Walter. And rerolling ones, because it's uh, Retributors. Really? That's real good. All one, but two. one. 12 saves, three plus, because of my yep. infernal rates. One goes through, All right. which kills the wounded guy. Ah, uh, Emperor, what are you doing to me? Wow. I will <laughs> um, use my weird little guy. Weird little guy. Weird little guy. to get one back. Turn them to a four. Turn them to a four. Right, what next, Dan? Okay, we're going to go with the Immolator, shooting the Forge Fiend. Yep. Let's see how it so goes. Let, let's see how well it goes the other way around. This time. Yep, okay, so... Um, Hitting on twos because I'm below below starting strength. Yes, you get your plus one to hit. Yeah. Doesn't matter, two sixes. Yeah, I'll Definitely do it. Definitely hit. Uh, strength nine, toughness ten, right? So fives. Fives. But you blow half But yeah, so fours. Good call. Cool. Two wounds as well. Um, two wounds. There Didn't you go. need it. <laughs> two wounds, minus lots. Wow. All right, two demon saves. I'm good. All right, fair enough. Um, <laughs> I can pass saves today. Okay, yeah, apparently so. Not much I can do again. Uh -huh. 
Right, these seraphim here are going to try and assassinate this one wound guy here. <laughs> yeah, he's been so messed up by the demon landscape. Uh, I'm going to, first of all, shoot him with a plasma pistol. Sure. Not supercharging because you've only got one wound, so. Cool. It hits. It hits. It wounds. It wounds. I'm not sure I'm going to save his offhand, but I guess we'll find out. I'm going to have to check it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> We checked and he lives. <laughs> he, okay. has a, he has a triple save base. So uh, right, we're now going to shoot him with the hand flamers. Hand flamers next, cool. That many, many times. <laughs> Falls to wound. Six saves of two up on my one wound guy. Let's see if he lives. He, he triple does. one. He does not. There's all your fails. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he gets incinerated. Good. Something at least. Well, the Warpsmith was not having a good time with it today. No. However, let's see how the Rhino fares, because what's coming at the Rhino now? Uh, the other Seraphim squad with the two Inferno pistols. Well, four like... Inferno pistols. It's easy melter start pistols. With them, yeah. yeah. Uh, so they've only got six inch range, so they're just in. They're not in melter range. Cool. Um, but they will hit on threes. Yeah. Uh, okay, two hits. Hit twice. Uh, we're winning on fives. Fives. One wound. One wound. It is, however, only D3 damage. D3. For three. For three. Cool. Right. Charge phase. Yes. Uh, we are going to try and disrupt the ritual stuff, among other things. Yeah, we've got some interesting charges to try and get onto that objective. So what are you starting with? So first I'm going to start with the emulator charging the Rhino. Cool. It's the main, most important one. Uh, five, which comes to six, so... Yes, it does. Yeah, so... The scent of a possession. Well, I basically go there. Tink. Tink, yeah. Which at that point in time will equal the OC values. Yes. However, what's coming next? Uh, I would then like to charge the Seraphim into back here to be within three of it. Did I do yeah. uh, A five, six. six. Yeah, that one. What else? I'm going to keep charging over here. The Karen S unit can go into the Rhino. Yep. I don't think I'll kill it. So, oh, 13 oh. inch charge. Yeah, let's get right up there. And then finally, the Repentia Superior into this little squad here. Yes, it's a, legion, well, it's a one man legionary squad yeah. with a master in position. Oh, look, they're in. <laughs> Do you want to um, start with the Cannoness and the Rhino? Because I feel like it's the most significant attacks you've got. Sure. Uh, we've got three attacks uh, hitting on twos. Re rolling. Cool, all hit. Uh, strength six. six. Um, would be plus five. one to wound because we're below half strength in that unit. So it's fours. Lovely. Uh, one. I'd say that one's got. No, right then. Two. AP minus. Minus two. Five ups. They two, both go through. Two damage each. Two damage each. Yep. It's <sighs> four damage. Immolator. Did he hit some threes? Uh, he threes actually. Yeah. <laughs> um, strength six, so five, five so fours because it's below <laughs> half. Nothing. Yeah, well, well. So that leaves it up to the Seraphim. Cool, so eight attacks on that little unit of three. They normally have threes, so it's twos because they're, they're damage. There we go. Um, they will, however, need six assistance. Uh, yes, because you're not be allowed to show. Nothing. Okay, cool. Leaves the right number two for those. Yeah. And then finally, we've got the Repentia. Uh, Whatever her name is. Repentia Superior is the, the term here. Uh, and for what it's worth, uh, Sarah, this uh, Repentia unit charged, um, and it contains a Repentia Superior, so <laughs> it, should, it does. Obviously, um, they get to reroll hits and wound rolls on the charge. Cool. So it'll be four attacks, uh, hitting on twos because they're below side strength, rerolling. They're strength three, but it's anti infantry four plus. Ooh, so we're winning on fours regardless, and with the rebounds. Four. four wounds. Uh, it's minus one AP. Ooh, okay. She's not bad. It's spicy, yeah. Right, well, first of all, the um, the legionary. Yep. And he's one wound. I have to use one at a time. Uh, minus one, you say? Yep. Four up. He's fine. He's not fine, but he has a six up feeling of pain. He's fine. All right. <laughs> Back to his saves. Yep. Four up. He's fine. One more. One more. Whoop. I missed which dice it was. Well, they're both three, so it doesn't matter. Fair enough. They both <laughs> fails, so back to his six or further pain. Yep. That's a 
a one. He fails. Yay. Right, well, master of possession then, I suppose, is uh, going to yep. slap her back. Yes. In my hubris, I decided to do a dark pact and failed. You never learn. And I took three mortal wounds for it. <laughs> so whether these attacks kill her or not, she's definitely been worth the, uh, the challenge. Yeah. <laughs> so, four attacks. Hitting her on threes, um, exploding on sixes. Well, that's two sixes and one cock. Very cocked, yeah. Okay. I mean, he powered up a little bit in a sense, so. Strength six, twos. Oh, uh, like four? Four, yeah. Four at minus one. Uh, four up saves then. She has actually wearing power on her. Oh, okay. Now she's dead. Yeah. Does she have to fill that pin? Uh, she does actually, yeah. However, these are both D3. Doesn't matter, she died. Doesn't matter, she died. <laughs> um, however, I do get a miracle dice because the unit died. It's a six, that's nice. Chaos Space Ring, turn three. Now, we are already at the end of the movement phase because there's only a few things to move around. Uh, we have got one or two things to do though. Mm -hmm. First of all, we did have a command phase where we both gained CP, Dan gained an extra miracle dice. Yep. And I took some break tech, uh, some battle shock tests. Namely for the Master of Possession who failed, and for the Rhino who failed. A couple of those I took, but I passed them. Um, which means two things. One, I'm about to fall back from combat with that Rhino, and it might die to a desperate breakout. Yep. <laughs> and two, the Chosen and the Chaos Lord that have hopped out of them are about to get overwatched by Yes, Dan. this unit of Seraphim are going to open up on them. So spend my CP on that. Um, so, Which would you like to do first? We'll do the Overwatch first, because okay. the squad gets out, you Overwatch them. This and... is technically how this works, yeah. yeah. Um, so I'm going to spend one of my six Miracle Dice to auto-hit with one of the Inferno Pistols. Yep, so um, how do you take so Delta Pistols? One hit. Uh, the other three shots. Nothing. That's fine. Um, it's strength eight. Do you have another CP or not? No, I don't. It that's, does not wound. That's very disappointing. Four pistols. One hit. Wounds. Wound. Uh, Sorry. Plasma pistol. Let's supercharge. Why supercharge. Not? Hits. Misses. Misses. Sorry. <laughs> Has Super, uh, supercharge roll. Have a uh, Is fine. Which means now it's time for me to make my desperate breakout with my Rhino. <laughs> so he's going to attempt to fall back Ooh. because he's power shot. On a one or a two, it dies. Let's find out. It's fine. It's fine. It just right. reverses. Okay. He, also, he gets a wound back. Oh, it does, doesn't it? It's he'll he'll wound in the command phase because he's a Hey! Whee. It's fun. Ever reliable. Cool. Well, with that, uh, we're going to jump quickly yep. into uh, Chaos Also, shooting worth phase. noting movement phase wise, there is some walk talent all the way over here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That have jumped onto that objective to cause some problems. Yeah, they're going to try and cause some problems for that squad of sisters. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, shooting phase. Okay, let's go. Right, well, um, we're going to start with the Chaos Lords unit. Okay. Uh, they're going to put everything they've got into the the five man, uh, five woman Seraphim unit. Yep. First, we've got a plasma pistol from the Lord hitting on twos. It hits. Ooh. Um, strength seven. It wounds. wounds. AP minus two. Okay. Uh, that's a five up save on a Seraphim. No, that kills one. Kills one. Then we have a plasma pistol from the Chosen. It hits. It wounds. Okay. AP minus two. Another one dead. Another one dead. Then we've got two combi bolters for four shots at this range. Um, still no sixes for these sustains. Cool. <laughs> but all hit. These are anti infantry four plus. Yep. Devastating wounds. But they are wounded, you want threes. Three devastating wounds. Okay, that's the unit there. Yeah. I'll have a miracle dice. It's that's a six. It's, it's, it's a, a lovely six. Next, the Nurgle Obliterators are going to fire their Melter weapon profiles into the emulator directly below them. Yep. We have Dark Pacted and we'll be getting sustained hits on five. Excellent. Um, two D3 shots. Not many. Not as many. Uh, three. Three. Uh, so hitting on freeze. One sustained, so, so three. three hits. Um, strength 12, freeze. Like threes, yep. 
<laughs> all three. Um, AP minus three, this was. Okay. It's flat six damage. Flat six damage to anyone that goes through. I, yeah, I mean, cool, let's just roll them. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> we get it. Does it explode? It's not explode. No. Nope. Do we do get a miracle dice. It's a five. It's a five. It was a five. Yeah. <laughs> right, next and last bit of shooting is going to be the Forge Fiend, who is going to fire at this Retributor squad that have been firing with impunity upon me so far. So now we're going to exact our vengeance. Uh, so free ectoplasmic cannons with blast means I'm getting three d three plus three shots. Yeah, oh, that's a lot. Eleven shots. I am hitting on freeze because there's no modifiers. Okay. I am using my devastating wounds and hazardous weapon profiles. Yep. Okay. I will also be sustaining hits on fives. Okay. So that's three misses. But uh, four misses, <laughs> but four, six, wow. seven sustained. That's a lot. <laughs> that was 11 shots, 14 hits. Crikey. Wounding on two, sixes are devastating. Okay. There's no devastating. However, they. Um, it's a lot of wounds, though. Yeah, that is 12 wounds, five plus saves on the retributors. Yeah, they're dead. Not bad effort. Uh, only six go through on the five. Yep, they don't remember. But yeah, uh, that, that erratic is. Yep. And <laughs> that's the end of the shooting phase, isn't it? Right, it is chaos charge phase. We're getting towards the end of the turn now, and all that's left really to deal with is these pesky sisters in the yeah. centre. So we're going to try a few charges, see if we can get onto the objective in our way in. We're going to start with the Corn Legionaries. We need a 8. But they get plus 1 because of Dean Barrow. Because of Slanesh. They get a 9. Cool. But fine. That's all we needed, really. As long as they're happy taking Slanesh's bonus. <laughs> well, they didn't need it. If they didn't get the bonus, then they got That's eight. fair. Okay, let's go. The important thing is it keeps us on the ritual site. Yes, that is. Cool. And then finally, the Lord and his Chosen. I'm going to charge both units. Yep, fair enough. So we can sort of wrap around. Okay. Uh, so let's see what we get. Big Nine number. inches, that will do. Now is the cannon S. There. Yeah, we're going to send the Lord straight for her. Yes, all right, let's As do it. As seems appropriate. Right, we'll go straight into fighting then. Okay. 12 attacks from Cold Legionaries. Lethal hits on fives, because of our dark pact. Okay. Freeze. Two lethals. Uh, freeze to wound. Yep. It's four saves at minus one. Okay. Um, so three ups become fours. I'm going to spend one of my miracle dice sixes to auto pass. For the four. Oh, I'll do the four then. <laughs> uh, so just three dice. Uh, right. That's one survivor. Who then two the die. inspiring champion is going to try and take. So he gets three attacks. Two lethals, one miss, but this is okay. uh, AP minus two, damage two. AP minus two, damage two, so fives. Fine. <laughs> She's alive. Bring it on. In which case then, the Lord and his chosen. Okay. <laughs> is the Lord going to do his special once per game thing? Yes, he's going to do a special once cool. per game thing. Super big hitty hammer. Yes. Um, um, the Countess is going to do her su super once a game thing as well. I'm going to use the Emperor's Grace. Uh, so which gives the cannon S for this phase a 2 plus invulnerable save. Well, of course it does. So let's, go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Fine. Um, well, I mean, since it's thematic, I'm going to spend my 1 CP on Epic Jewel. All right. So my Chaos Lord is going to attempt to just smash her over the head as best he can. So let's do the, his attacks first. Five attacks for the Chaos Lord after we failed our Demonic Pact. Nice. Pact. So uh, one of the Chosen is now down to one wound, but we still get five attacks, sustained hits on fives, because we have some action. Okay. So Chaos Lord hits on twos, sustained on fives. That was terrible. Come on. It's not, it's not freeze, crazy. actually. Oh, it is, isn't it? It's because the demon it's the demon hammer. That was terrible. It was really terrible, yeah. That was it's like one hit. <laughs> that is one hit. Excellent, okay. Sustained fives, cool. one hit. Cool. Well, it's a two to wound. It is a two to wound. It wounds. Yep. 
Not devastating though. Do you know what else it's a two to do? Save. Save. Yeah. <laughs> all right. In which case, the rest of the unit. Now, in all fairness, what I was going to say was Lightning Claw Dude was going to hit the Seraphim. Everyone else is going to hit the Kyanet. Sure thing. Let's go. So I'll start with the Lightning Claw guy, because he's got paired claws, gets um, four attacks. Twin Accursed Weapon, I believe. Mm-hmm. Hits on threes, sustained on fives. Okay. So four hits. Uh, Shrimp five threes. It is twin linked. Uh, four saves, minus two damage to. Yeah, good job. She's dead. She's dead. That's the Seraphim leader dealt with. Four chosen who get four attacks each from a cursed weapons. So this is on the Cannoness's unit as a whole, yep. which could eventually spill into her. Yes. Right. Freeze to hit. Sustained on fives. Okay. So two miss, and we get five sustained. It's a lot better than the Lord, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Clearly he was just standing back letting his minions do all the work for him. Right. Shred five. Freeze. Okay. So that is... Three, six, nine, ten. This is eleven minus two damage to save. Oh, okay. Having to do two at a time to begin with. Six. Minus two. Right, I'll spend four. I'll spend a well it'd be a five to to also pass one of them, because why not? And then I'm running two at a time for five uh, for um fives, yeah. Yeah. Oops. No, that's the them two that's dead. The two members of the squad dead. Gives you a miracle dice. Uh yeah. <laughs> and here's the two upsides for the Camness. Uh the damage two each. Damage two each, I think she's dead. We get her just. She put up a valiant fight. In fact, she was too busy dueling with the Chaos Lord the whole time. Yes. Fending clearly. him off. That's what happened. <laughs> clearly. So she got stabbed in the back by some cowardly, traitorous scum, White Lamb. <laughs> yeah. Well done. With that, as the Cannoness falls. Yeah. I think it's fair to say that the uh, the chaos ritual is now going to be unimpeded. Yes, there's not a lot we can do about it now. No, it's our last hope. <laughs> while the uh, while you kept the rogue psychers at bay, I'm afraid Lord Basgor himself has managed to uh, call upon the Dark Prince, and now at some point soon, Sadesh demons will start pouring across the remains of this imperial well. world. Yuck! It might need an exorcist or two. Yeah. <laughs> um, yes. But yeah, that was a good game in the end. Yep. Um, I think it. Well, it ended on start of my turn four. I concede with just the exorcist left. Um, yeah. <laughs> but uh, up until yeah, the start of we, my... were, we were fighting for the central objective. I've done the done the maths. Um, you can't control the flank objectives anymore because you need to start. You need three full turns. Yeah, I don't have enough time left to enhance either of the flank objectives. So you then, kept me at bay there. So I've stopped the automatic, like, two at six win. Um, and this one here, I dropped it down to four, I think. So in, yeah. your, in the end of my... In the start of my turn, it goes up to five, and then in your turn, it goes up to six. Yeah. So, so basically, I... I sort you of, would have, effectively, have, you, only, you only have, like, two turns, turns to, to play hold, with. Yeah, to play with, but that's all I needed. Yeah, quite. In, in the end. <laughs> So I can certainly see how um, a little bit more luck here and there, you know, certain units dying, certain units not dying would have been uh, made it a yeah. I mean, I, I sort of game at the end there. Yeah, I sort of held the center up until the pre the end of the previous turn, where you sort of came flying in with your cavalry, as it were. Yeah, it's, it's just a shame that there are any toughness three sisters of battle cavalry to survive very much. Yeah, but I think it was interesting to see sisters on the table. I've not, yeah, played, cool. I've not played them in literally I like ed the, um, editions. I like the Miracle Dice mechanic, but uh, I did end up with quite a million of them. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I couldn't do anything with. I have to say, for using the Chaos Space Rings myself, I found the the Dark Packs system um, a bit easier to pass when actually playing it. Yeah. Than like when I've seen battle reports of other people playing it or other people yeah. talking about it. It seems very multi-led and complicated, but actually playing it out doesn't feel too bad. Yeah, it's not too too crazy. Um, it, does, it does ramp up the damage, they can do quite a lot, doesn't it? Yeah, um, yeah, and it's certainly I think making that right decision between whether it's a sustained or a lethal hit, depending on the target and the mark sure. you've got, can really make a big difference. 
But yeah, that no, was fun. Um, it was it's nice a to good see. mission. It's, it is uh, a good mission. I do recommend it. Um, like I say, if you've not picked up the Tyrannic War Crusade book, I highly recommend it. Or, um, if you, or you know, it might have the Leviathan book. Oh, you might have the Leviathan book. It's, yes, it's, it's, it's in there as well, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah. I definitely don't re recommend buying it if you already have the Leviathan book. <laughs> so if you have enjoyed today's battle report and you'll be interested in similar missions like this in the future, then please do like and subscribe here on YouTube. And you can, of course, also go support us over on Patreon. Um, we have um, a wonderful little support network of uh, fans and supporters over there that really do help make a big difference for us and help get things like all the equipment that we do use. And yeah, hopefully just help us produce more stuff in the future. So thank you again, Dan, for coming and joining us today. No problem. And a, a big thank you to uh, your lovely other half for the yes. Sisters Army. Yes, it's very lovely. Um, and also She's thank very you. Lovely. And also thank you again to Sharpie for lending us the Care Space Marines. So see, be, He's also lovely. He is also lovely. And there'll be links to his Instagram in the description below if you want to check out some of his other armies. Um, and yeah. Um, again, say thank you to Game Addict U for the, uh, the battle mats. If you are wanting to uh, purchase anything for your own collection and own hobbying time, then there will be links below for our affiliates with Element Games. Yeah. So do go check them out as well. And uh, if you do use our link below to buy anything, then we get a little kickback. And again, it helps just support the channel here. So just before we go down, where can people find you uh, um, online? You can find me as Red Tooth in various places, red underscore tooth on Instagram, and uh, I'm Red Tooth on the, the crumbling remains of Twitter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Funnily enough, I'm, I'm no longer there and haven't been for a while now, but... That, that's valid. <laughs> but I am on Instagram, so if you do want to go check out Narrative Wargamer over there, you'll be able to see some of our latest posts and things we get up to as well. But yeah, hopefully we'll see you back here for a future battle report, and uh, yeah, until next time, guys. This has been Narrative Wargamer, helping you to discover more ways to play 40k.